Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can sort a Word table. So on the screen, I've got a small table, which I'm now going to click into, because that will activate the two tabs, Table Design and Layout. Layout is where I need to be, because this is where the Sort option is on the right-hand side of the ribbon. If I click on Sort, it will come up, and it picks up Name as the first column, which is great. And then when I drop the arrow down on the next column, it isn't, it isn't picking up department, salary, etc., etc. And the reason for that is, is because this option isn't ticked. Now, I can go and tick that, and then it does pick it up. But let's just see why that happened. If I just cancel this off, if I highlight that, that row, that top row, so when you highlight it, and then just do Control b to make it bold, now I'll do exactly the same thing. I'll go back into it and you've got name and it does pick it up just because that's a different format it's bold as opposed to this not being bold so in this, this first example i want to sort by name and then if there's two names the same you then go to the next option so next option let's go for department and then by salary so i'll do a three a three sort of step sort you can see you've got some options here if there's dates and numbers and things like that paragraph and then you've got ascending, descending. And you've got more options from this options button. And you can change any of those if you want. Just cancel that for a minute. So this is all I want to do. And I click OK. And then it's put angry into the top and so on and so on. Now if I just get myself a another one. So if I get a duplicate. So sort by, let's sort by department this time. So if I put, I put um, Paul Smith as a person who's in the sales department and he's going to get £23,000 annual and his number is 333. So now let's do that again but this time we'll sort by the sales department or department should I say and then by name and then by salary. Let's see what happens now. So the two salespeople, so name then salary so we could have gone salary second so if I go department salary and then name let's see what that does but these are just the options that you can choose and it didn't really change it much now if you want to number this list this table you've got to be careful with this because when you just select everything like that so that's what the, the whole table selected if I go numbered it then numbers every single thing. Well, I don't want to do that. I just want to number this first column. So if I just highlight the first column and select number, it just does the number like so. And then if I want to move these around, so let's move Paul up one. He just it just renumbers. Paul Smith is now number two. So if I do Steve Saxton at the bottom and put him to the top, Steve Saxton's number one, and it automatically just renumbers within that list. So that's how you can create a numbered list. So. You can manually change things, even without a numbered list on there. If I just um, highlight this and take it off, and then want to move somebody, that's, say it's not a, a sort that you want alphabetically, A to Z or something like that, and it's not numeric, you just want it by department, but you want, say, retail, or everybody in the sales department, you want to be at the top. So you can just manually move them to the top then the sales are at the top, admin, then retail. So that's not in any order as such for, by me going on the layout tab and clicking through there. That's just highlight the role and move it into the position you want it. So that's just a very quick video on how you can sort a word table and how also you can put numbers on a word table. So hopefully that was of use for you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one.